everybody, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts, and today I am going to be making a sign that I am going to put up on my desk at work. And I'm hoping that my boss will let me keep it on there, but I guess we'll find out. So, I got one of these plaques from Dollar Tree, and what I am going to do with it is I am going to make a little stand for it. So, I am going to take these um, tumbling tower blocks here. I'm going to find which side of my sign looks the best. Okay, and then I am going to hot glue these onto my sign here. I'm going to try to get them as even as possible without measuring. All right, and then I am going to glue them. These are going to be my little feet. Okay, now that my sign is all glued together, I am going to take this um, French linen color. Um, it's folk art chalk paint. I believe I got it at Joann's. And I am going to put a coat of this on my entire sign, including feet and all. All right, my sign is all painted. I just put a thin coat on there, so I wanted some of the natural wood to still show through there. Now I have my stencil. This um, stencil paper I got from a company called Fellers because my husband does vinyl on cars, so he just ordered me some. But I know Cricut makes a stencil vinyl, and you can definitely, you could try regular vinyl, permanent vinyl. I'm not quite sure how it'll work, but so I got that, and then I have this contact paper that I got from Dollar Tree, and that's what I actually use for my mask. So let me get a chunk of this cut off. Okay, I have my contact paper cut out. I'm going to take that off of there, and then I'm going to put this on my stencil. And I'm going to use that to put my stencil on my sign. So I'm just going to get this on here really good. Okay, and then I'm going to start peeling this off. I have a feeling some of the smaller little insides of the letters might not come off right away. So I'm just taking my time and I'm going to go nice and slow so I don't lose anything. All right, I am just taking this off. I flipped it around, found out it's a lot easier to come off this way. Okay, I'm just going to guess. I think I have this pretty even here. Um, I did miss a couple little letters, um, insides of letters on here. So I'm just going to get this on here and then I am going to go back and grab those letters off of there. Let's see if I can get this stencil vinyl off of here. But I am going to go ahead and take my little X-Acto knife and I am going to get those little things for my letters put back in there. I have those back in there. Then what I'm going to do is I am actually, I'm not going to use paint. I'm going to use this Distress um, Stamping Ink that I got from Joann's and I also bought this little dauber thing. I use this for making my cards. And I am going to stick that in there. And then this is how I am going to color in my stencil is with this stamping ink. So I'm just going to go all the way around and do each little letter. And there's no way it should bleed, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so it's getting there. So basically what I'm doing, I just want to show you again, is I just take my dauber. And then if you look, you can see all that extra ink on there. I'm just kind of wiping it really lightly over the letters and that seems to work pretty good and this vinyl is stuck down so I'm pretty sure that it's not going to bleed so um oh yeah and I forgot to tell you in the beginning this um stencil vinyl that I got I did cut this little saying with my Cricut and I will include the cut file but you have to have Cricut access so I will put the link in the description so that if you want you can if you have Cricut access, you can go ahead and um, take that cut file and make your own sign. All right, I have it done. Now I am going to peel my stencil vinyl off of here. I'm probably going to have to go through and 
grab some of the little stuff out after. But I think this is going to look really cute. If you have a Cricut, I think it is a very good alternative to all those chalk couture and um, all those st um, stencil things that people are doing. Because if you buy a stencil, how many times do you actually use it? This way, you can make whatever you want. Okay, now I have to go through and I have to weed out all these little these little um, spots right here inside the letters. And I just wanted to tell you too, I got this little tool from Dollar Tree. So I did not spend a ton of money buying the actual Cricut one. So I just wanted to throw that in there, $1.25 for this tool. Okay, I have all my little insides out. I think that looks really cute. And I mean, that stamp ink does not bleed at all. So that is a really great alternative. I think and I'm pretty sure it's a lot um, less expensive than paint so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my distress ink again and I am just gonna go around the outside of my sign just to give it a little bit of dimension I'm gonna probably put some on the legs and the feet and stuff too all right I have all the edges done I think that really just adds a lot to it all right, then the last thing that I'm gonna do is I have these little um, frads that I have from card making. Now, I would suggest buying yourself some of these, um, going to Joann's or Michael's or wherever. Use a coupon. You can probably get them pretty cheap. I don't know, I bought these years and years ago. But these things work really good for filling in holes. And they add a, just a little bit of character on your project too. And so then you don't have to use the whole wood filler so I, this sign is pretty thick, so I don't have a lot of room here to wrap my little thing around, but I can always stick some hot glue in there too. But I think that's gonna hold. See how those prongs just go right around there like that? And then you can just move it. And they make all different, different ones of these. I just chose that because it matches my sign really good, but I mean, you can get flowers and um, squares and stars. I mean, they make all different sorts of them. So I'm just gonna stick this last one in here. And it, oh, it just fills it in It just, I, I don't know. I think it looks really nice. I've used it on quite a few projects, filling in holes. Get that on there. All right. And that is it. My sign is finished. I hope my boss lets me keep it up at work. I think it turned out really cute. Um, that is the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions, definitely um, Lee, ask me in, you know, in the comments section. I will answer any questions that you have. But I think this turned out so cute. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I upload. And take care. Thanks again. Bye.